Well, 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 well. Hey, everybody there. What's new on our shelf today? Are you guys excited? Well, I am. So, these are some paintings of Vincent van Gogh. As you know, he's our artist of the month. So, we're studying about clouds today. Our theme, as usual, for this week is Air, Land, and Water, Part 2. And this month's theme is Earth. So, let's go in order. We're gonna study this picture of wheat field with cypresses and look at all these beautiful clouds here. And surely your preschooler will appreciate this art and he can um, look out at the clouds and see the clouds that Vincent van Gogh painted. So we could have done well with just these two wheat field with cypresses and this one wheat field on the thunder clouds. But I decided to put up the starry night as well. Well, just because we were talking about the sky and the clouds, so I thought the starry night would also be a good painting to put up. And what have we got to go with our paintings? Well, we've got our three part cards on clouds. These ones, I've just put them on a paper clip so my daughter can even take them outside and stand and look at the clouds and try to guess which ones she's seeing. So these, the main cards, I've put them up like this. And then as usual, we've got the other two parts uh, with the title and these ones here, which she can match to the main cards. Oops, 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 oops. Our craft is falling. She's done this beautiful little craft for a thundercloud that brings in rain. It's called Nimbostratus. And she's only three years, nine months, but she's learned the word nimbus rise so that is great and this one is a uh, cirrostratus i told her that it's a it's a happy cloud so that's cirrostratus so she knows that the blue ones are happy clouds the black ones are sad clouds the black gray ones if you just want to have a get a tip well i did this all the sad clouds and the ones which bring in uh, rain and storm i uh paste uh stuck them on car black cardboard and uh, cardstock paper sorry and the happy ones I put them here on this blue cardstock so this was just a tip in case you want to do this little extra thing for your child to help them self correct themselves as well so if you've seen my previous videos you know already what's on our shelf this week we've got our world map and our land farms and water farms on the side here which we matched with our three part cards and our real life land farms and water farms three part cards as well as with our felt puzzles if you want to make your own felt puzzles do look into the description box i'll be leaving a link to the tutorial in which i show you how to make your own then we've got this beautiful two dimensional globe here to help the child understand what land farms and water farms are on the globe a cute little space activity book and another book here what are stars to go along with our um, clouds theme and then we've got first encyclopedia of our world and peep inside the sea as usual you'll always find these three jars of ours on the shelf throughout this week that one represents land with some sand and roots this one air alone and this one water so i hope you like this video and it's given you uh, an idea on how to set up your shelf for a preschooler if you're uh, aiming to make them study about clouds. So do stay tuned for more and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.